Hi guys, I've got two projects running in parallel at the moment. One was looking at using a magnetic servo or actuator as somebody wants to call it. Um, it's just a coil of wire with a magnet in it that when we pass current through the coil it operates as a radio control servo and in this case makes the rudder turn. The other project I'm doing is looking at whether we can make a solar powered radio controlled boat. Now when I was trying the radio control receiver out on this um, servo and this little electric motor that's got a propeller attached to it if I use the original battery pack for this little receiver then it works fine. So if I want to make a radio controlled boat using that as the steering mechanism then it will work. But if I want to make it solar powered when I use this panel which is quite a nice panel and it's about five by six inches or thereabouts it doesn't have enough power to run the electric motor and the magnet servo um, it can't run them individually and it certainly can't run them together at the same time it just doesn't have the power output so that got me thinking what other electric motors have I got that will take less power and the electric motor that I've already got fitted to this boat is a very low power or low um, current electric motor. It comes from one of these garden ornaments that uses a fairly small solar panel to run that electric motor. So with this great big panel that motor flies. Oh, all right, it doesn't fly because it's in the water, but it certainly runs fast. And that got me thinking, maybe if I used that motor with this receiver, it would still work okay. So, quick demonstration. Apologise for the light. I got it rigged up. So as long as we've got plenty of sunlight, we can run that electric motor and power the boat. And that got me thinking, how about if I use one of those electric motors to do the steering? So I've dug out another one of those electric motors. I've cut up a CD. it, oh there it is, <laughs> to give me a couple of bits of plastic that I've super glued to either side of that motor so that that's now the bearing surface for this axle or shaft or whatever you want to call it. Nice big gear on it, small gear on the motor. So if I plug that all together Stick a bit of tape on there so we can see that it moves. So for demonstration purposes we'll assume this is the rudder. Now obviously we don't actually want the rudder to spin round so I'll have to put some stops on it. If you bring the light over again.
So I should be able to put a rudder on the end of that. So say put some stops to stop it doing the full rotation. With that light we don't really get enough power onto the cell so I can't actually turn the motor and steer at the same time. You see it's slowed down quite significantly. But it looks to me like we might have a working option there. So I'll rig that up so it's going to sit over the end. Put the receiver in a plastic bag or something so it doesn't drown if it gets wet. So you put a couple of stops on there to stop it doing a full rotation. In fact I could just have a something sticking out from there that will stop it when it gets halfway around or something. And we should have a radio controlled solar boat entirely powered by solar power. Well I lie don't I because the transmitter's not solar powered. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. But the receiver and the boat will be entirely solar powered. All up together. I'm not quite sure how easily you'll be able to see this. Um, and I don't know when we're next going to get a suitably sunny day to actually try it out. Because the weather seems to have left us a bit at the moment. So... Just holding it in front of my light here. Let's see if I can hold it at the right angle so you can see the propeller and the rudder. You can certainly hear it even if you can't see it. say with this light I can't do both at the same time. See the motor slows down significantly when I'm using the rudder. Right, you probably can't see what I'm doing. Right if I put them both together see the motor is hardly turning. If I release the rudder it's not got enough power to run both motors at the same time. What I'm hoping is in full sunlight we might be able to do both at the same time. So I'll pop the receiver in a plastic bag to give it some sort of water protection and we'll try it out when it's sunny. <laughs>